Hey, Brandon, how are you? Good, Tommy, thanks for coming out. My pleasure. So I take it this is the porch you wrote me about? This is, and here's the view we want to take advantage of with the porch swing. It's a great view. And this is the swing. It is. You know, we bought it, we put it together, and then we couldn't figure out how to hang it. Well, hanging it is very important because you want to make sure that you hang it into structure. You don't want a part of this, or all of it, falling down and somebody getting hurt. Mm. All right, so the first thing I see is I see vinyl siding, vinyl shutters, and a vinyl ceiling. Yeah. Now, if this was a wood ceiling, I could take a real thin drill bit, drill through the ceiling and find the structure above it, and then we could mount the seat. The problem is the vinyl ceiling above that, there's actually a gap between the top part of the ceiling and the structure. So what we need to do is take some of the ceiling down, find the structure, and then add to it as we need it. All right, let's do it. All right, Brandon, now that the ceiling's down, let me show you what we have up here. This piece of two by six, the ceiling joist, is actually structure. The one by three strapping is actually a furring strip. And the furring strip is up there so that you can nail the ceiling to, but it's not structural. So now here's the bracket that comes with the swing. And you can see that it pivots back and forth here and two holes to screw the lag bolts into structure. But let me show you what we have right here. So if I hold the bracket so that the two holes line up with the structure to get the lag bolts in, look at the way that the bracket pivots. That puts the swing perpendicular to the house. We need to turn the bracket 90 degrees so that the swing will swing parallel to the house. Now here's the problem. We have one hole that we can get lag bolt into the structure and nothing into this hole, so we have to add structure above it. The other issue is this furring strip. That is needed so that we don't have this deflection in the vinyl. And it just so happens that this furring strip is a good distance off the house so we can utilize this one. But now I can screw through the furring strip into the structure. But remember, the one by three is not structural, so we have to add the structure above that. I'll just hammer this block in between the structure and attach it with wood screws. Then it'll do the same for the other side of the swing. Now we can reinstall the ceiling up to where we're going to install the bracket. I want to be able to see the structure when I drill through the vinyl so I go into the structure with the screws. I'll use a bigger drill bit just for the vinyl, then switch to a smaller one when drilling into the wood. So these are just lag screws that I'm going to hand tighten. I don't want them too tight when they get to the vinyl because the vinyl moves differently. We'll get this side on the spring, and then you can try it out. All right, moment of truth. Yep. How's it feel? That feels perfect. You look good in that. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for all your help. Now you have some place to hang out. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. 
And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.